Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to make dynamic slides with PHP script by using Twitter Bootstrap Carousel plugin. We have received many requests for May tutorial on how to make dynamic image slideshow in PHP code by using Twitter Bootstrap. In Bootstrap there is one ready to use carousel plugin, by using this plugin you can make simple image slideshow but here we want to make dynamic image slideshow. In simple terms carousel plugin is a component for cycling through element like a carousel. Now let's start discussing this topic this is our testing database and in this we have one banner table with three table column like banner in. Banner title, banner image. In banner title we have store image title and in banner image we have store image name. In this table we have already inserted image data into this table, we will make dynamic image slides show by fetching data from this table and display in the form of slides show. This our banner folder in which we have store images for slide show, this folder we have store under our working directory. We will display images from this folder. This is our index page. On this page we have we have already include JavaScript library and bootstrap style sheet and JavaScript library for using carousel plugin we have required this both the library. Now we have moved to write some HTML code for slides show. First we have write one division tag with attribute it is equal to dynamic slide show, class attribute is equal to carousel slide and data ride attribute is equal to carousel. Here carousel's plugin required unique kid like dynamic slide show for carousel controls to function properly and carousel class specify this division tag contains carousel. Here slide class add CSS transition and animation effect which makes the image item slide when showing new item and lastly data right is equal to carousel attribute tells bootstrap to begin animating image slides when page loads. After this under this we have right order list tag with attribute class is equal to carousel indicators. This class makes indicators which are dots that appear bottom of each slides. For dynamic make indicators we have to write PHP code, on top of the page first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar $connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four argument like locale lost, root, blank password and testing database. After making database connection now we have create one function make query with dollar connect argument, this function will make query for fetch data from banner table and execute query and return result of that query. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from banner table order by banner it in ascending order. This query will fetch data from banner table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this dollar result variable. Now we want to send this value of dollar result variable as output of this function so we have write return statement with dollar result variable. After this we have again make one more function like make slot indicators with dollar connect variable as argument. This function will make carousel indicators code and return that code as this function output. Under this function first we have define one dollar output variable is equal to blank, in this variable we will store dynamic HTML code for indicators. Then after we have defined one more variable dollar count is equal to zero, we will use this variable value into dynamic HTML code. 
Now we have write dollar result variable is equal to make query function with dollar connect variable as argument. This has return query execution result and store into dollar result variable. Then after we want to fetch data from this dollar result variable, so we have use while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert data into array and store into dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar count variable is equal to zero. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to zero then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose this variable is equal to zero so it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append html code like open list tag with attribute data target is equal to dynamic slide show attribute data slide to is equal to dollar count variable value and classes of call to active. Here data target attribute define the id of carousel which is dynamic slide show and data slide to attribute define which slide to go to when clicking on this indicators dot and lastly class active define the active slide. But suppose dollar count variable value is not equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write dollar output variable and in this we have append code like list tag with attribute data target is equal to dynamic slide show and data slide to attribute is equal to dollar count variable value. Then after here we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar count variable plus one. Here on every interval of loop this variable value will be increased. Lastly we want to return output of this function. So we have write return statement with dollar output variable. This statement will return output of this function. This way we have make dynamic code for indicators of slideshow. Now we have go to HTML code and here we have called this function. So here we have write echo statement with function name make slide indicators with dollar connect variable as argument. This function will print indicators code here. After making dynamic indicators code now here we have write division tag with attribute class is equal to carousel inner. Under this class we can define image slide. So for make dynamic code of image slides, so we have go to PHP code and here we have define one function make slides with dollar connect variable as argument. This function will make dynamic code for display image slides. Under this function first we have define one dollar output variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store dynamic HTML code for indicators. Then after we have defined one more variable dollar count is equal to zero, we will use this variable value into dynamic HTML code. Now we have write dollar result variable is equal to make query function with dollar connect variable as argument. This has return query execution result and store into dollar result variable. Then after we want to fetch data from this dollar result variable, so we have use while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert data into array and store into dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar count variable is equal to zero. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to zero then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar count variable value is equal to zero then it will execute if block of code and here we have write dollar output variable and under this variable we have append html code like division tag with attribute class is equal to item active.
Here write them class define the content of each slides and it will be text or images and active class will defines this as active or current slides and this class we need to be added otherwise carousel will not be visible. But suppose dollar count variable variable is not equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append html code like division tag with attribute class is equal to item. After define slide content class now we have write dollar output variable and under this attribute we have append code like image tag with attribute source is equal to banner folder name slash dynamic image name get from dollar row banner image column name in alternate text attribute is equal to dollar row banner title column name. This code will display dynamic image under image slides. Now we want the display caption on particular image so we have write division tag with attribute class is equal to carousel caption. This will display dynamic caption on image. So for display caption we have write header 3 tag and between this tag we have write dollar row banner title column name. This will display dynamic caption on image. So our dynamic image slides code is ready. Lastly under this function we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar count variable plus one. This code will increase value of this variable on every loop interval. Now we want to send output of this function, so we have write return statement with dollar output variable. This will return images slides content. Now we have go to HTML code and here we have write echo statement and called make slides function with dollar connect variable as argument. This will print dynamic image slides code here. After this we want to make previous and next button for go to next or previous image slides. So here first we have right anchor tag with attribute class is equal to left carousel control, craft is equal to carousel at dynamic slide show and data slide attribute is equal to previous. Here left class add previous button tag allows users to go to back and data slide data slide attribute is equal to previous for previous button. Same we for next button we have right anchor tag with attribute class is equal to right carousel control ref is equal to carousel at dynamic slide data and data slide is equal to next. Here right class will display button at right side and data slide is equal to next. It will move current image slide to next image slide. That means it will display next image slide. So here our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends here we can see when page has been loaded into browser. After loading page in browser we can see first image on web page and on that image we can see caption banner when after some time image has been changed and it display next image with caption. Here below image we can see 5 dots which are indicators. Here we have 5 image so it produce 5 dots on image. By click on third dot then we can directly go to third image slide. Same way we want to go first slide then we have directly click on first dot. So this is the functionality of indicators under this carousel slide show. Under this carousel there one more control like next and previous button which we can see on left and right corner of image slide. So when we have click on of left side then we have to go to previous slide same way when we have click on right side button then we have go to next image slide.
so this are all control we have make by using bootstrap carousel plugin, and here we have used PHP script for make dynamic image slideshow by using bootstrap carousel. By using bootstrap there is one more benefits like responsive image slideshow. So this all are benefits of using bootstrap carousel plugin with PHP code to make dynamic slideshow. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more updates.